Christian Bale reinvented Bruce Wayne and his cape persona for a newer generation in Batman Begins, but the Oscar winner was very close to essaying the role of another quintessential DC hero. While Bale broke out as a child star in movies like Steven Spielberg's Empire of the Sun, the English actor took on challenging and diverse roles in the late 1990s and early 2000s. From playing a mild-mannered music journalist in the glamrock classic Velvet Goldmine to the reckless namesake of American Psycho, Bale was already a critic's heartthrob even before he was cast in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. The Ford vs. Ferrari star debuted as Batman in 2005's Batman Begins, but a few years earlier, another superhero opportunity landed in his lap, but the ambitious DC movie was eventually cancelled. Still, it's all for the best that this hypothetical scenario never became a reality, for it might have prevented Bale from being cast as the caped crusader. When compared to other live-action Batman actors, Bale's version stands out with his distinctly raspy Batman voice and emotionally complex psyche. The way Bale humanized Gotham City's vigilante could have been reflected way back by another hero closely linked to Batman. Christian Bale was almost Superman before his Batman casting. Bale was eyed to play the Man of Steel in an early 2000s Batman-slash-Superman movie. Cleric John Preston, Christian Bale, dramatically standing in a smoky alley right before a fight scene in Equilibrium. The late German director Wolfgang Peterson broke out with his claustrophobic submarine set drama Das Boot. But the two-time Oscar nominee also had a knack for helming big-budget spectacles like The NeverEnding Story and Troy. In 2003, Wolfgang Peterson was roped in to direct a Batman vs. Superman film with Christian Bale as Superman. The filmmaker revealed this behind-the-scenes detail in a 2010 interview with MTV, adding that Josh Hartnett was the second candidate to be considered to play the Kryptonian hero. Unfortunately, the project never saw the light of day and J.J. Abrams had a role behind the film's axing. While Peterson pitched a cinematic face-off between Batman and Superman way before Zack Snyder in 2015, Warner Brothers prioritized a solo Superman movie with a new actor instead. The plan was to pick up J.J. Abrams' early script for Superman Returns. Titled Superman, Flyby, the script drastically rewrote the character's origins, and the project was reshaped as Bryan Singer's Superman Returns instead. Peterson gave up hope for Bale's Superman moment but had nothing but praise for his subsequent Batman era. He even told MTV how he believed Bale's second Batman outing, The Dark Knight, deserved an Oscar for Best Picture. How Christian Bale's Superman role would have changed DC's movie landscape. Batman vs. Superman, Asylum could have spawned a DCU-like franchise. Batman Superman exchanging punches in DC Comics. In the early 2000s, DC only had a misfire like Catwoman and cancelled projects like Tim Burton's Superman movie to flaunt. Christopher Reeve was no longer the glorious Superman of the 80s, and Joel Schumacher had turned Batman into a comedic property in the 90s. In this context, Christian Bale's Batman vs. Superman movie would have spawned a new interconnected franchise akin to the DCU movies that came later. Titled Batman vs. Superman, Asylum, Peterson's project was also driven by a dark story that would have humanized the titular heroes much like what Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight movies finally achieved. 